I don't know if they'll be watching here or there. Anyway. Anyway. Eight o'clock and here we are. Oh, How about you? Friday. That is our notification of our video. It sure is. <laughs> <clears throat> Man, here we are. We're actually going to be smoking quite a few different things this yeah. tonight. I think we, we're, we're going to smoke some more of this WTF. From uh, this is Rhonda. Cool. Rhonda Long. Very good. WTF. We got Jack Frost. We got the tail end of the, the tail end of the heavenly perp. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And yeah. we found the seed. Uh, you know too, don't you? Yeah. Sticky buds. Yeah. Sticky buds. Keep an eye on your flowers. Boom. There he is. Right there. There's sticky buds. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, guys. Yeah. Evening. Smoking the tail end of that heavenly perp sticky buds. Spot on. Great job with that. Yeah, I just hope you find quite a few more seeds because big shout out to you, man. Yep. Hell yeah. <laughs> Raptor Marine. Good evening. And the jerky. Love the jerky. Oh, yeah, the jerky's excellent. Yeah. Roll one of these up here. I don't know. Get the I'll get the small plant question out of the way. We had a question here a few ago about a, a person sent in a question about they thought they had a plant that was mutating, and there was what five weeks or something. It's in like a half gallon pot. It was, it was something. That, it was about five weeks old outside uh, this time of the season. Yeah, I did, yeah. And, and he said there was. Little white things coming off of the top, the top of the plant. The a plant will shine, will show what it's going to be, um, even if it's five weeks old and outdoors at this time of year. If you're growing it outdoors, I ain't kidding you. If you got a, you know, fifty of them things this tall, you know, this tall in a pot, they're going to bud and they'll look like little bottle brushes. Yeah. You know, they really will. So, the white things you're seeing coming out of the top of your plant aren't mutations it's showing you that it's going to be female so um, leaving it outdoors and letting it flower is the easiest thing to do because that's what it wants to do now yep. putting it indoors and even putting it indoors on 18 hours or something it's going to take two or three weeks i'd say three weeks for it to turn around to start to grow on the veggie thing now so i mean it, it seems kind of minuscule but still a, a small plant this tall at this time of year can get this tall you know and have a nice bud on it so yeah. keep it in the in the pot that it's in keep it outdoors fertilize it like you would for flowering you know yeah, you just have to use little tiny sprinkles of stuff instead of you know cupfuls or something like that so yeah just give it a lot less fertilizers and it'll do fine uh, raptor marine what's up oh, oh, wow, wow, Sherry. Thank, you. thank you i'm glad you're here <coughs> right. but I hope so too that monster crop clone didn't take root uh the monster crop didn't take huh? bummer damn <coughs> that's okay all of you know usually we're pretty good about clones usually i'm pretty good about doing clones and, and everything but still i better go through you know yeah there's there's, there's little the, tricks that they got to figure out so certain tricks and i think i i, I have a an idea for a tray because you said to when you're making all the cuts and everything you want it to be sealed so no air gets in the stem at all well yeah yeah that way that that's why i, I was saying you know on your i, I had a, you know, a plastic cutting board i just pour a puddle out there of water and you know when you're cutting in it it you know covers the cutting generally so when you do make your slice in that puddle <coughs> it will already have be you know covered with water yep. so but that does help so. as of right now there's only three clones making that, it that are still oh no there's one the other two clones i have here are of our mr j okay from here but the only clone that is still going still <laughs> is this one over from, here and it's a blue che it's a blue cheese from our buddy thomas's Oh, um, he said they're kind of fickle anyway. All those clones just—they did not make it. <laughs> they did—they weren't having any of it. <laughs> so, 
Jerry, hello. Happy Friday. Good evening. Christopher Robert. Yes. yes. Good evening, Christopher. Good guy, Jeff. Hello. <coughs> Always have a smile. Good evening, guys. God bless you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you for looking. Yeah. <laughs> Sun's out, guns out. <coughs> really? Well, I'm hoping you people have gotten by now. If you're trimming the way we trim, you know, with the air bubble inside and getting the energy to go to the outside of your plants, you know, where the light, the buds are in the light and stuff, you should be on about your third fertilizing, I think. <coughs> we did ours last night and we watered them in bright and early this morning. So, yeah, the only thing we really need to give them here in the next day or two is. There's a, a couple drops of Super Thrive and then uh, a good shot of fish emulsion. That's all we have left. To, we gave them the mycos and, and bone meal and baguana yeah. and all like, this the uh, other night. Uh, so, two days ago, I switched fertilizers on mine. I've been giving them 558.18 for a little, about a week now. So, And I can't find any 558.18, but I did find it, it, it's, it's a 10.50.10, which is... Yeah, pretty close. close. It's still pretty close. Yeah. Um, but anyway, I switched to the ten fifty ten, and I've been I've been adding that in. Yeah. And okay. I did I did that and the fish emulsions a couple days ago. Okay. So, yeah. so uh, if you can get a good water soluble fertilizer, I mean, that that whatever you you want to use works. Uh, like I said, I'm stuck on jacks. Um, I've always I've used jacks for like thirty years now. And I've never had any complaints about it. So, and they've got a whole array of different fertilizers that you can get to, through them. And so, once a year, my brother and I will purchase, you know, anywhere from six hundred to nine, maybe a thousand dollars worth of fertilizers. So, and it comes in on semi. <laughs> that's right. It comes in. We have to go pick it up. But still, having it that way means we don't have to go down to the Grange and pay forty dollars for ten pounds. You know, because, I mean, they do have it there, but it's spendy. <coughs> it is spendy. Get so. Abbott. Abbott from Oklahoma City. Yeah. Hi. What up? Huey says his Acapulco Gold is two weeks old. Ah, nice. It's about two weeks out somehow. Oh, let's see. Let's, let's see. Let's get see. some seeds. Would you give me some seeds on the top of this? On the top of this girl we're playing. Hopefully, I'll say I can get you some seeds back. Three seven oh seven. Okay, maybe. Yeah, that's the way. This, uh, shoot us an e email at Huey uh, at Father and Sons Trimming Tutorials yeah. at gmail .com. And we have our LBGC in the house. And Randy Preston, is here too. Preston and Good evening, Randy. Preston. And What's up, Patricia? guys? Down there in Vegas, hot as fuck. No shit. <laughs> so, yeah. on this Acapulco Gold. On this grow cycle, I'm actually starting in my book, writing okay. down. I'm writing down everything that's going on. Doing, okay, that's going on with these alpha golds, <laughs> fertilizers, nutrients, everything. That's right. When they start, when they, when they, when they hatch, they're so beautiful. Yeah. When they hatch. <laughs> but yes, I'm I'm starting to write down everything on these. Yeah, no, that'd be a good idea. Good idea. <clears throat> Let's see. Wow, one Scott of them is healthy. Review one of them. <laughs> Hot as fuck, but we still grow. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Well, even if you just got fans out there blowing on, <laughs> that is great. <coughs> okay, we'll show that. Yeah. <coughs> hey, <coughs> nice cut. Oh, yeah, you like that? Like that? Yeah. Like that? Get a nice cut. <laughs> My hair was well overdue. I needed a haircut bad. Plus, it's. You gonna make it up here, Randy? It's hotter than 80s. I would say get up here. I was buddy. just gonna tell you know, blame it off on, on Preston that you hadn't gotten anywhere yet. So <laughs> shame on you, Preston. You come up, camp out, no trouble. Shame on you. Preston. I'm very fortunate to have George over here for a week. Uh, yeah, till about the twelfth, and then I have to send him home for a day or two. And we did make it over. Yeah. And, and then excellent. uh then I'm hoping he's gonna be back right after the fourteenth because he has a doctor's appointment of his own. So yeah. Yeah. So other than that, uh, Crystal's cousin Jim is here, so we got friends and family here helping out right now, but they're really helping out good. <laughs> Hawaiian Buds, what is up, my friend? Good to see you. Good evening. 
Thanks for swinging by. <laughs> Press the kitchen. Put that shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> Watch us. <laughs> All right, we finally. Everybody I finally got that. Everybody in the chat, give Preston shit <laughs> for not getting Randy up here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got this the, the necklace done here. On this, I got it. I just haven't used it yet. No, I'm not going to because that wouldn't really be right to send something stinky like that in the mail. So, yep. Um, so anyway, this here, it's ready to go. I think within the next week or so, I think we'll be ready for uh, for our giveaway. Giveaway. Okay. And uh, we're gonna do a giveaway for everybody. I'm hoping so. So whoever it is uh, wins this. I'll right here. If they want. I'll put an initial there. Whatever initial they want. Uh, okay. Yeah, and I'll just describe it right there. On the back, we've got our kind of engraved here. I, I'm not putting any writing in it, but it's you know it's got our fast signal here and, and my signature, and then Kale's is right there too. So it'll oh, be yeah. signed on anyway. My Good luck to my whoever. Necklace, I mean, precious. You know that that rock you showed me that I was wearing last week. Uh, that's a you hold it up to the light and there's a hologram in it. And the kidding you, the the, <laughs> the agate's got a, a flow and it looks just like a like a rounded you know a, a, some of the ferns have round leaves and and look really like a bird's wing kind of and and looking up to the light that's what that looks like in there. It looks oh, yeah. like kidding you, it looks like a like a fern leaf or something. Looks yeah. totally awesome. Nice. But I got it hanging on my wall. <laughs> yeah. Let's see really you have a mullet soon. Let's go, Preston. Right? Get them on. <laughs> Very good. Randy's got a mullet. Huh? Hey, Glenn's on Albrecht he here. What up, Glenn? Good, yeah. good evening. <coughs> Miguel Santa Cruz. What's going on? No kidding. Hello. Hello. It's always great to see you guys. Thank you. Thanks for joining. Thanks for calling in. That's right. Yeah. Nick. Little gnome candy's doing better. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Great job. So, um, most of you people, are, if, if you're needing any questions or are, um, about this time is when you really want to clean out the inside, clean off all the popcorn. If you're not a popcorn <coughs> fan, uh, leave water, water leaves if you can, because remember, they'll start yellowing as the plant gets older and gets more to maturity, and all the nutrients are drawn from the water leaves to the buds. That's what the that's what the water leaves will give you a gauge for from coming underneath. You want to have, you generally have this top part of a bud that's mostly solid, and then underneath it, you've got you know singleized type tuff, you know tufts down here. So you're wanting that big piece up there on top, and maybe seven to nine tufts below it. That's a good average, you know, for the buds on there for all the energy to go to to those. So yeah, you should be on your have your guana. Your bone meal, your lime, your worm castings, your super thrive, um, your fish emulsion should be, have, you should have used it, you know, three times or so by now. About every, I'm guessing about every 15 days. Uh, at the, at, like we uh, finished ours last night, watered it all in. We've gotten subtle leather of the plants cleaned out and so that most of the, more of the energy will be going out instead of, stopping at the first little nub that's on the limb so that's what you got to be working for right now they're starting to set so getting it done before then is a is as much as you can believe me 11 12 plants like i got is it's a lot of work i right, can you four maybe five plants is a lot of work for one person so yeah definitely yeah so be aware of that so you get your and uh, you're watering with your 55018. Um, I quit with the Blossom Booster like a week ago and have switched up from the 103020 up to the, the 55018. And I'll finish that out. Uh, the reason we don't use the 55018 all the time is because it's, made, it's actually made for long stem roses and orchids and lilies and stuff like that. That's what it's actually made for. And if you use it too long, like several months at a, at a stretch, it'll make the limbs on your plants longer. Not, it won't make your buds any bigger, but it, it, <clears throat> it'll just make your lamp, your stalks and limbs longer. So using your 10, 30, 20, your blossom booster up until like the last month or so, 
of flowering and then use your 550-18 and, and to finish out because those really will swell up the buds, the 550-18s. <clears throat> so, have you ever grown a marijuana plant that has two different colors? One side of the plant is dark green, the other half is a light green. I, I have green. seen that. Yeah, uh, I, I <laughs> did, but it wasn't big. I wasn't sure what it was. Remember the plant that split? Yes. That, yeah. that, that plant split. Had a big stock going up with like yeah, three, or, plant three or four way. shoots. And then half the shoot out this way. And it got too heavy and it just split and it split the stock. So yeah. we, we pulled it back up. We tied it up. But that it, it still didn't matter. It split really good. Yeah. And we, we sealed it with the grafting tar. Yeah. But still half the plant, <laughs> this half the plant was a lighter, greener, yellower color, which was really cool. Because, I mean, that was kind of creeper weed we noticed, I think. You know, you smoke a joint and then you don't notice your stone until 12, 13 minutes later. Yeah. yeah. But the other side was really dark. Oh, I cure my cannabis in a turkey bag. Um, yeah, you can. It, it takes some work. You got to roll it and air it several times a day. Aerate it. Yeah, aerate it. Yeah. Um. <coughs> uh, let's see. If you can find a couple yeah. gallon jars, that'll be a thing. Swap them from one jar to the next. You know, turkey Columbia, bags will work. Columbian Gold, I bet can do that. That? Must get coffee. Oh. How does the gnome candy do indoors? It does fine indoors. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I grew some in, in We've done in some here. indoors. Does Others a, have done some indoors. Yeah, it does <clears throat> well indoors or out. Yep. So, how's the aphid pressure been this year for you guys? I am. am I'm absolutely amazed. Um, no bugs. Knock, knock on wood. No kids. <laughs> knock um, on wood. No bugs. This so year, the people that have gone into my garden and stuff <coughs> i have made sure that they you know bathe or change clothes if they've come from another garden but i have they, and nobody has been in anybody else's garden so yeah yeah knock on wood our garden this year is, is nearly pest free i sprayed three times and right now i don't see a need to spray I, it anymore i think i sprayed three times too. yeah so no our <laughs> bugs this year were nothing like last year last yeah. year was horrendous so, but we had people coming and going and stuff that we weren't really asking questions about what they were doing as far as work. So, Nick is growing a no candy that is uh, wide and short. It's a little short. Very fat, good. Short, fat one. The one thing about the no candy, <laughs> it is a, a lollipop, you know, a round bush type plant. Yeah. So, if you get, if it turns out to be a kind of a, a Christmas tree style that we've discovered that the plants, the two plants that we have are uh, the throwback of our strain. Uh, what the first one half of our uh, gnome candy it was a cotton candy from eight years ago. Uh, yeah, eight years ago. Um, so that's, we have two of those in our garden also, and they're, they're smaller, but still, it, it's good. I love that cotton candy. That yeah. cotton candy is good, too. Yeah. I was really amazed at cleaning the plant here this last week. I think that's exactly where we got the grapey smell for uh, on the, the, the gnome candy. Because I was cleaning it, and, man, I stood up, and I smelled so much like Concord grape juice. <laughs> I mean, it was like sticking your finger in the, in the, in the, the can or something and then snorting a drop of it, you know. <laughs> it was really thick. So. Some candy branches wide, but uh, probably because let's see, probably because I got rid of fan leaves early on for branching only. <clears throat> right on, Nick. Very good. Yep. Keep growing, buddy. Uh, will never be. I just release lace lacewing larva uh -huh. because I'm in bud set. In the last year, I definitely had aphids from neighbors hemp farms. Yes. Yes. Everybody had problems last year. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it does seem less this year. So, and I'm, I'm thanking the good Lord for that because, believe me, I'd never burned plants in my life till last year. That was that was a crazy video. That, that was that was totally weird. I mean, I can't say it's often, but uh, we had people stopping on the street because they couldn't see when the smoke blew across the street and. They stick their head out and they go, <coughs> they're driving by. <coughs> yeah. yeah, it was funny. 
Nick, uh, thank you. Be better next grow. Uh, be big suckers. Yes. Yep. First year's just a tester. See how it goes. That's right. Second Don't year will be better. That's right. As yeah. long as you try to keep up um, the regularity and of your fertilizing, your trimming. Standard 2020 is all he's got. So, that, so he thinks that will be okay for the flower as well. Oh, yeah. The, the thing will flower no matter what. Yeah. The plant will. But the plant, uh, that is just a basic, that's a good basic fertilizing. Yeah. So. Yeah. And if you guys do, if anybody does go ahead and order from Jack's or something like that, tell them we sent you or something, you know. Tell them you got the idea from here, you know, the Killians. And we've been buying it from them for quite a while. And, and I've been emailing them back. Yeah, yeah. I haven't gotten nothing. <laughs> so. Now, just let them know that, you know, what we're doing out here, just, that you, you really like the jacks. I mean, I do, because it dissolves away totally. I mean, if you do it the night before, the, the next day, you don't have little crystals pouring out of the bottom of your bucket that didn't get dissolved and stuff like that. I mean, yeah. And they really do make the, the fertilizer so that if you set them side by side, there's absolutely a difference between them. So there's, you know, and with those... Fertilizers like that, you know, you can actually mix, you know, a tablespoon of this and a tablespoon of that. You know, yeah. like like if you had some 55018 and, and what's the name here as the 20, Nick has the 202020. 20, 20. Yeah. You can still mix a little, you know, 103020 20 with your 202020. 20, 20. Like I was doing the 103020 with the, the 55018. Uh, beastie Bloom. Yeah, yeah. I was using the Beastie yeah. Bloom. I like this. The Beastie Bloom, that was like a, a, a 450 something. But that was real close to, to the jacks. Yeah. So we like the Beastie Bloom too. It, it did really well. And that was just like a quarter of a teaspoon to a gallon. Especially if it's jacks. Yeah. yeah. So, yep. Huey, well, I think I spend too much time in the garden because every time I leave my garden, I keep smelling. They are. I mean, if you're talking to them, you're giving them what they need. And, and they are. They're giving back what you need. That that smell and yeah, all that chirping's in the air. Yeah. Glenn, you'd be burning plants for about forty years, one bud at a time. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> I wonder. I've been smoking since I was thirteen. I wonder how many plants that would be. <laughs> Just how much you smoke through a pipe, like you know. I mean, this is a relatively new one, but still, I mean, that one ceramic pipe I had, I had. For as long as you were alive, almost. I mean, how much weed? <laughs> so, yeah, imaginary. we never know. It's it's always an imaginary thing we can we're you know trying to figure out or count on. So, <laughs> yeah. Scott Smith, Greasy says hi, y'all. What is up? Good evening, Happy Friday. <laughs> uh, big shout out to our Merlin. Oh yeah, Dutch they Rose. they whipped us keeping up in a couple cool, good ones. Keeping us uh, not really hydrated, but keeping us cool on our addiction. Yeah. It's a cotton drink. <laughs> Gives us something to do, too, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I garden every day. It's yes. become a lifestyle. That's so right. Yeah. And I've, I've noticed that, you know, from the, the earlier part of the year when things are just getting started, still getting up at 5.30 or 6 <laughs> in the morning and pretty damn hard. Yeah. But now, I mean, you know, it's pretty much the way you, you do it. I mean... I'm generally in bed by nine o'clock, so I can be up by six, you know, over He's in the garden. Up past his bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Friday nights I am, yeah. So but tonight I'm not worrying about it. We got friends at home, so and yeah, Brother Deer and his wife Crystal did make it down here from Alaska today. I picked them up last early. Known Candy Branch. Yes, our Alaska known candy is branch is down town. here visiting. So and I asked him if he wanted to be on the show. He says, Nah, thanks. <laughs> It doesn't smoke enough yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I told him he could wear his mask. He said, nah, thanks. He preferred to remain anonymous. Rainy. <laughs> Dutch Rose for life. Yeah. All right, guys. Here. You guys want to check out the uh, Acapulco Gold so far? We've got doing that. <clears throat> and we're using the uh, Mars Hydro SP3000. Your new light? Cool. Yep, the new the new light Mars Hydra sent us, and they're all doing pretty good. There was a couple that 
This one, I don't think it's going to do anything. And that one over there, maybe it's not. been it's been like that for a few days now, and this one didn't. This one didn't. No, but that's take. not bad odds at all. And on the percentage of plant, <clears throat> those were clones down there in the end, huh? And so, yeah. You're looking good. Seeing for those of us you out there that don't know what Super Thrive is, anyway, this is this is a Super Thrive, and, and yeah, or just to hold it so you can read it. So yeah, anything Super Thrive? Well, <clears throat> just a drop or two of that per gallon. You don't want to use too much, so. You know, just a drop or two is one of the best vitamins and minerals plants can have. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, little. Come on, little girl. Come on. <laughs> Friday night. It's party night. Party. <laughs> we'll never be. I don't fall asleep till like. Get five. Some sketchy people come. Um, around about 2.30. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's the witching hour. <laughs> we'll never be. Yeah, what? That's the witching hour. Yeah, no, I was trying to read his name. <clears throat> around 2, 3, and 4. And we'll never yeah. be antagonist. Antagonist <laughs> system. <laughs> until like 3 o'clock, yeah. Uh, anytime we've really had trouble with two-legged predators, you know, being out in the wrong garden, that sort of thing, uh, it has been between 3 and 5, actually. We've had more trouble with those hours because they think people are sleeping more than. So those are good hours to be up. Uh, you don't need to let them know. Um, I like having a red light. A red light you can walk around and see pretty good. and It's kind of hard for them to see a red light. I mean, they can probably yeah. see a green light easier than a red one. But still, you know, walking around with a red light and you're knowing the area you're in, you should be able to... You know, patrol your place pretty good. We do fair. We do pretty fair. So, yeah. yeah, we know the trails. We know the woods and stuff. So, so we are going to go through the limbs that I cut off um, on the lower part of the platinum dosi. Oh, this was, was the little silver experiment. Yeah. I personally don't think there's going to be any seeds. Yes. It's okay. Stuff. So we're going to go through this stuff. And we're going to hope and pray that maybe there might be a seed. But I don't think so. I'm not up here so first. And start. <clears throat> yep, I'll water over here too. Let's see. Let's let it dry. Yeah. All right. Let it dry. Yeah, I got a t-shirt right here. Oop, oop. There we go. There we go. Little dude. Got gun. <laughs> he got guns. He got guns. <laughs> Cotton candy, yum. Very fortunate. Yes. I actually did shotguns on a real shotgun one time. Boy, was that scary. That was the closest right, thing guys, I ever had like that in my face. Tabletop view. <laughs> Here, watch, boys. Down there again. We'll show you tabletop side effects. <laughs> you want to see tabletop side effects? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, that's it. Mm. All right. It's not a whole lot. I think it was like four or five limbs. Yeah. <clears throat> but still, there's a lot of this. For those seedlings, uh, the ones from your plant in the video where you held seed and push the soil to it uh, that was a great tip yes sticky buds uh that was that was this video it was uh for the awful focal gold seeds oh when you sprouted yes where i when I, where i just like held the seed yeah in like in the soil and i pushed the soil up and around the seed so yeah. it stays in place it doesn't fall over <clears throat> so i was mainly wanting to uh uh Mainly just keep this, you know, the root going straight down. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
Well, if you're going to tell you about that, you know what? Uh, you can be uh, generally marking a, like a popsicle stick down in half inch or so, so you know how far down you are. Wiggle a hole, and uh, if you use another popsicle stick, or that popsicle stick when you put your seed in, you can slide that popsicle stick down in the dirt and just kind of scoot the whole thing over like that. You know, over against the yeah. seed in the hole. Yeah, right. And then you can just go ahead and fill a hole in here behind it. That will help hold it, and it won't crush anything. So you can be pretty pretty easy with it. You know, these are the areas that I'm more interested in. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, I'm just um, peeling the stuff. But Randy, have we, let's see, ever grown Tropicana? No. No, I have not. No, we haven't. Yeah. It's pretty hot on there. There's one, though. Yeah, I don't feel any water leaves. Anything that looks really solid I'm, either. I'm not, yeah, I'm not. Feeling any seeds? No. Oh, well. I think that clay. A couple little. Might take more than just one try or a long. <laughs> I think it'll take a whole cycle. Oh, I think that clay. Well, I think it kind of threw off the plant too. Well, it's going. It, it will because it's going to make it hermaphrodite. That's how it's going to make a seed. But remember when I when I brought them outside, uh, they started to flower. Yeah. And then it had to turn around. <laughs> so I think that kind of messed with the uh, with the experiment a little bit. Yeah. So. There you go, water leaves. And yeah, just trying to get what's extra some stuff here. <clears throat> yeah, I've got a bunch of pile here. Let's see anything in the bottom. No, I don't see anything in the dead gamut. Let's we'll see. Happy for everyone. Ashley Killian. Ooh. You know, sweet cake. Sharing is caring. Well, come in, come in here and get your joint. <laughs> sharing is caring, everybody. Remember that. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel anything or see anything either. Nope. So I'd say our, Hello. I'd say our, <laughs> yeah, I'd say platinum dose or the yeah, platinum dosia colloidal silver experiment is is a, not a good thing. It is a failure. Randy says, "Hello, Ashley." Hello. Is Sherry says hi, Ashley. Yeah, I can sue you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry says hello. Well, hello, Sherry. Hello, <laughs> Sherry. Yep, I don't see any. No, I don't either. I don't even feel man. any holes. So, um, man, that colloidal silver was bunk. Give me back my money. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think we'll just have to, you know, let it chalk it up to I think good old Mother Nature <clears throat> doing it's going to be the best way to pollinate. <laughs> So, I mean, this is okay, but I think it's going to take more practice than what we need for now, or what we want for now. So. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, so. All right. Yeah. Um, and I tell you, this stuff here, after after being seeded, it, uh, it does take something away from the bud, so <clears throat> the bud is okay, but you'll find out it's probably a little harsher um, than plus, the average. Not to smoke. mention the colloidal silver. Don't oh, that's right. You don't smoke this stuff. Don't here. Smoke this anything. It's the next system that you have. So that's burnable. It's all garbage and everything. So, uh, burn it, stand in the smoke, but whatever. But I, I mean, <laughs> even plants that you know we haven't used colloidal silver on. You know, a plant that is uh, pollinated and stuff like we did with the the no candies inside, or the Asian oranges that we just finished the stuff out of my house. Um, the the pot will will be affected the the plant or the flowers will so because they're taking all that energy and putting them into the seeds so and yeah we got some really good color when we checked out the, the Asian orange here the other day so yeah and uh, I did with we did really well too on the the gnome candy the Highlander gnome oh, candy yeah, yeah. from up four thousand two hundred feet. 
We got some really, really yeah. nice. I mean, they are they are noticeably smaller, but still they are great color and everything. And from a plant from up at forty two hundred feet coming down to like nine hundred feet down at our elevation and stuff, that, that's quite a quite a difference. So yeah. anyway, we're gonna send send our friend a, a Highland <laughs> farmer over there in Clown Falls. We're gonna send him back a baker's dozen. So we'll send him back thirteen seeds. Uh, that's really good because we only got five out of five seeds out of the buds that I was given. So yeah, yeah. but I yeah, totally yeah. amazed. Hell yeah, Let's Randy, send these off to our Get friends. Get on up here, let's barbecue. <laughs> Come on, yeah, I even still got that the infrared cooker out on the back porch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else uh, did we um, go through? What else oh. did we have? To oh, our cross. Yeah, yeah. What'd you do with it? Oh, it's right here. Oh, where'd it Boy, go? <laughs> Duh. Okay. This is our gnome candy draw cross with Girl Scout cookie. Okay, cool. Uh, there are a lot of seeds in here, so we're going to hope. But this was one of the plant, one of the two plants that. This is the one that we bagged at the very beginning. Oh. This is the. This was one of the first ones to get chopped down out of here because it got too hot in here and okay. they got cooked. Okay, the, we're going to need that thing next. to start. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Right. What are we going to do? We're going to. So let's just. Yeah. I guess we'll get it, get it up, there. up there. Yeah, might as well. Show them what we're doing. Let's see. I'm going to set this right here. Cool. <clears throat> All right, everybody. Here we go. So what I did, so for searching for seeds and everything, uh, what I did was I made, I made just this little cardboard tree box. And it's maybe a foot and a half, yeah. foot and a half long. And you can use any any card. And so you just pour pour the smoke onto the end of the cardboard, and all the seeds will roll down. More of it will yeah. roll down to the end. You just pour a whole bunch on there. I was doing quite a bit at the time. Okay, good. And so you just take your card, slide it up, yeah, and just roll it. Yep. Yeah. And you just sift through the stuff, and every time you sift seeds will fall and roll down and you end up with a bunch of seeds <laughs> with a little bit of pot in them, not so much not yeah too much and every now and then you'll find chunks like that you'll so. find yeah just these little chunks of flowers flowered and so there's a bunch of seeds in there and you just crush it up gently and then let them roll let them roll yeah for us old timers, we we just used to use shoebox lids and stuff for this. So my son's ingenuity is <laughs> doing good. Yeah. Uh, Push up any of those. Then we get to go through and spread them out on a plate or something like that. And Pick out what we think won't what won't make it and what we think will, and that's the next step. So, just doing so many pollinate so many plants like we did has been a lot of work, hasn't it? It has definitely it been has a been. lot of work. I was really happy that spider farmers really put up with our pollination thing for a long time because they really did. Thank you very much for the spider farmer and their SF two thousand. Oh yeah. Yeah, appreciate those guys, and it was a good job. And their lights, They're, they got great lights. They really do. Still quiet. Still. There we go. You find sometimes though, if they're doing it with this side down, stuff will separate easier. It won't be so slick. Let's see if we got something to put that in. Um, yeah, those jars. Here's, here's 
Jared's a red baby little ones. <clears throat> yes, Randy, thank you. Can't wait to visit y'all again. Well, we sure hope you get up here soon. Yeah, and believe me, because you can enjoy some of this. You wait until October. That's going to be too late for harvest. Yeah. Now, this year it's coming soon. We're going to start taking them earlier this year. Yeah. Where did you put that in? I had just a bag. Run the seeds, yeah. Okay, there you go. Well, okay, cool. There we go. Is our is our first round of seeds. Right. Looks good. So still yeah. pot in there, but still we'll be able to pick them out easier. Oh, boy, like. it's gonna be close. It's gonna be some well, it's gonna be close. If we come out with 50 50 percent, that'd be better than poking the eye i just want a couple good seeds these plants were really early in the in the pollination process yeah so <laughs> well that's what you would have to do with all your smoke back in the day <laughs> yeah, yeah because it's all mexican that's right good old mexican dirt weed that kid <laughs> well, i remember our generation used uh used to uh, record album jackets Yes. We used to use our record album. Jackets. Yeah, 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 the sleeves, that's right. Oh my gosh, look at, look at this, guys. Look at all look at, <laughs> look at all these seeds. Yeah, I'd say about half of them are going to be good and half won't. But still, 50-50. That's not a bad thing. <clears throat> yeah. See, that's why I love watching your show. <laughs> I learned so much. Thank you, Randy. Cool. Missy, you got to get up here. <laughs> A lot of those little flowers still intact. Steve Smith, how hot is it? It was 104 over here today, I think. We're over in my garden anyway. Of course, it's 10 degrees hotter there than it is over at the house because of the trees and stuff. But no, we were better. We were better than 100 today for the second day. And it was one of the cooler ones, actually. It was pretty toasty in town. Yeah. And we've got a lot of smoke finally you know, sucking down in the valley from the fires down south. So, yeah, this morning was the first real bad day. I mean, last night about 8.30 or something like that, I could taste it, you know, in the air when I was in the garden. Uh, the, you could taste the burnt smoke and, like, stand around a campfire. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice and seedy. Yeah, nice yeah, and seedy yeah. Gents. Yes. <laughs> you know, not not many people say that, but uh, that's what I was going for. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> nice and seedy. Nice and seedy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not a lot of people say that. <laughs> like I was saying, there's not a lot of people that would uh, grow a whole room full of seeded weed. <laughs> yeah. Well, we needed for the. Yep. For the. May have to if we get enough of these seeds, people are going to have to specify whether they want the Highlander or not. Yep, we and it would do that plant would do well with anybody. We do have seeds about available? Four thousand feet. Uh, I will put a list in the description below. Oh, oh for in the seed in the video. Okay, good. There are a couple different strains of the gnome candy. There's what three variations: the silver, a Highlander, forty-two hundred, yeah. and just our regular gnome candy. So there's three different types yeah. of gnome candy right there. <laughs> so many seeds. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. More than I was thinking, that's for sure. Yeah. I guess it's like the bush on the tree when you're trimming, you know, that you don't realize how much is on the tree until you get it cut down and it's on the ground. <laughs> exactly. Oh, 
Very good. Very good. Cool. Nice and seamless. Hell yeah. Very good. <clears throat> yeah. Have any of you other people tried to pollinate your own strain this year? Or one butt of it even? Yeah, just one limb. Yeah. And yeah. Then, no, if you can do that this year, do it. If you got a possible uh, you got a pollen for something that you want to cross it with, try it. Just try it. So, Try something yeah. in your garden. No kidding, it's funny. How are you gonna learn if you don't? Right? Yeah, that's funny. Grandma with Lily used to say that when you go in the garden. Just try it. That's what you say. Try. Just try it. Of course, you know, when you're 10 or 12 years old, you're hating going in the garden. <laughs> I hated going in the garden. And that was one of our chores for the summer, was we had to put, you know, like two hours a day in the garden, you know. And of course there was like eight of us kids, so grandma had plenty of help out there. Right? Yeah. So, but no, I that was I really didn't like working in the garden for a long time, you know. And then all of a sudden, when I got older, yeah, I found you know marijuana and holy <laughs> crap! A lot of what I was learning from Grandma was working on the butt on the <laughs> on the pot. Yeah. Yes, I did. Let's see. Stick those. My Zeppelin, Frampton, and Floyd jackets cleaned a lot. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day. Frampton absolutely and Led Zeppelin. I had a Led Zeppelin that the back was totally washed off as white from rubbing the cards and stuff on it. <laughs> yeah, I think it was House of the Holy or something like that. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Yeah, that is, that is a lot of seeds. Yeah, there's a lot of seeds. Well, I'm just hoping that some of them are any good. They're the ones you have yeah. to really try. We're going to... I mean, try to, we'll have to try to germinate some of these seeds anyway, you know, for, you know, just to see what kind of a percentage we get, that sort of thing. Logan S., what is up, my friend? Thanks for joining. Is, is this the Agent Orange? No. No, not yet. Not yet. No, it's still green and in the bag. It is still drying as we speak. <laughs> this here was uh, the cross between uh, gnome candy and the Girl Scout cookie. Girl Scout cookie. This was our cross. We're just searching for seeds. We're coming up with a whole bunch. Hoping, hoping that there's at least a few good handful yeah. of seeds. That's right, because this one got took out early. That is a lot of seeds. Holy cow. <laughs> good. Yeah. Getting there. Yeah. How many seeds we get out of that? So. Anyway, I think this is the right oh, late to the shoe. You're never late. No, you're here. We're here. If you're on the channel, you're here. That's <laughs> right. You are never late. You re you arrive precisely when you when, should. When it's time. <laughs> on time. Right. right. Yeah. At a strawberry cough, Hermes seeds are really. Big and healthy. It's hermied, uh, small little bananas. Well, I, we personally wouldn't use those seeds. No. If that plant is hermied. Yeah, hermorphodite. The seeds would going to continue to do so. Um, still, I mean, if you want to, you want to do that and you like it, do it. So, you may get lucky. And is the whole plant hermorphoditing or just one limb or something? Because if it's just one limb, I guess that's not too bad. No, that's not too bad. Um, but it will consider, or it will continue to hermorphodite, even if you cut off a limb. You know, you think you're cutting off that hermorphodite limb. No, hermorphoditing is like cancer in a plant. You can cut it off one place, it's going to crop up somewhere else. So, picking the buds off, or you know, the little male balls you find around, they, it, it does work for a day or three. But in a week or so, you'll find more hermorphodite areas coming out on other parts of your plant. So. Enjoy it while you can, because if it really starts to get, you know, hermaphrodite, you know, several seasons, then you should try to find a plant that, you know, a strain that's good and strong that isn't hermaphrodite to cross it with. Don't mean you like. So, that's one yeah, way of see. trying to get that. What do you do? What do you do with the seeds that uh, that? Definitely, Definitely not, not mature. mature. We'd probably just shit can them. Yeah. I mean, 
throw them out in the yard and, <laughs> you know, maybe they'll grow. We thought about yeah, it, you know, if you're lucky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> marijuana seeds are actually, you know, uh, with with milk and, and a little bit of sugar or something like that are called porridge years and years ago. <laughs> so hemp seeds are one of the highest forms of vitamin A and vitamin D in the world other than the apple. He wants me to make him dinner <laughs> with porridge. <laughs> so, Marijuana, no, you, so you, can, you can boil this stuff up like you would, uh, you know, multi meal or something, and put a little, you know, a little sugar and a little cream and or you know milk on it, and it would work. So, <laughs> I mean, it is a good food source, right? So yeah. Oh yeah, Nick, uh, that one gnome candy pino was massive uh, years ago in the garden. Uh, that was an awesome. She looked great. We yeah. did have some monsters a couple years yep. ago. Holy cow! Really? Yeah, yeah we did. This year is a little different there. So. But you know what? They're, they've gotten really, really big. I wasn't yeah. expecting them to get this big. Me either. Because <laughs> we got them out still a trying later. to Still trying to find how to get that one down out of the roof. Yeah. I'm, I'm either going to have to. We, we might just top it. We should just top it. Up. Yeah, but I, I, that's the big decision is topping it. Because we, uh, depending on how far we can push that wire <laughs> and pull that thing back over, we may have to. Oh, excuse me, top one of our Dave's not here plants. Um, uh, man, it's like two feet out the top of the ceiling. The the roof yeah. of the greenhouse is 10 feet, and it's at least two feet Pass through right. the roof. Yeah, so <laughs> when we go to put the top back on the greenhouse, we're going to have to find out something to do with that thing sticking up there. So we're, it, believe me, it's hard to decide whether I want to top it because i'll have to bring it way down i mean way down yeah. yeah way down i mean even even topping it i'd have to i'd have to bring it down like three feet even topping it a foot below it won't be enough oh uh, no i so, so uh, that's that's just the thing okay I'm, okay okay that's we can't redo the support because it's so big already but we can add a support and see maybe if we can adjust the other support let's pull it over well if i'm thinking if we can pull it back in and maybe keep it tied on, you know, going towards my tent from there. Right. You know, to the right side of the garden, if we can. That, that's what I'd like to do ultimately. But it depends on if I kink the stem or not. Right. If I kink it up there, it'll probably break. So that's just something we're going to have to work on when we're doing it. Richter 94. What's up, man? Let's see. Happy Friday. That's what I thought. I've had five cocoa root balls. I need to get in the garden as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Believe me, the more, the harder they get root bound, the harder they will. It'll be for them to take off. I've got a. I mean, they'll take off just fine, actually, growing, but their nutrient area will be greatly, significantly smaller. So, I've got a couple plants that I had to plant late in the year because of two of the plants I had turned male, um, and they were in a pot too long. So, and I've noticed that they tip. And that's because they were in the pots too long, and the the root ball isn't really had a chance to grow out. They they can go out a little ways, but the roots mainly stay in the root ball. I didn't cut them or anything like so, I had earlier. Remember those miniature gnome candy plants that we had in the outside garden? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the ones that, the, yeah. the miniatures. They wouldn't the little dwarf things. They're yeah. just dwarves. They were like like that big. Yeah, um, yeah. one of them finally died off. One of them, and, one and of them, uh, what the hell? <laughs> anyway, one of them died off, and the other two actually turned male. Turned male, yeah, crazy. Yeah, just little tiny things like this with little <laughs> tiny, you know, little tiny tips on the top and stuff. I'll probably I can take a picture of something when I get home and send it to you. So you can, KZ, what is up, work. my friend? <laughs> Let's see, ran a seed of Gosh, Mommy man. Mountain Indica's in the house. You finally awake, bro? <laughs> have a have a nice nap. <laughs> ran a seed to it. The offspring is weak. Ran a seed of it. The offspring weak. Seven flower didn't seed up. All right. Yeah. I'm going to save all my Hermes seeds and press, press them like, like a dad. dad. <laughs> oh, see how it goes. That's right. No kidding. Make a video of that. That would be actually kind of kind of cool to watch. <laughs> so sa so satisfying. satisfying. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. If you're gonna smoke it, I don't know. Be careful of the headache. 
but <laughs> heck, I mean, doing stuff like this, you know, for the edible, yeah. I wonder if you get stoned on it like you would brownies or something. Well, no. Because, man, them brownies I made the other day, oh, wow. All right. They're really, really good. I ain't kidding you. I mean, like, one that, uh, a one-inch wide, three-inch long cookie brownie. Yeah. Yeah. Mommy Mountain Indica, what is up, dude? Good evening, Mommy. It's good to see you. I tried solo grows over the last two months, and mail won't hold itself up. Plus, so so much pollen had to move because it was getting everywhere. Yes, it would. Can you imagine how many little grains of pollen is in each one Flower, of those little flowers? Each one of those little tiny flowers. Yeah, I mean, we had pictures of where you would just remember the powder just drop it on the fingernail. Yep. And man, that's just, I mean, hundreds of thousands of granules. So, Ew. I'd say some of those pretty questionable. Real safe, yeah. Safe to yeah. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. yeah. good. Very good. All those fucking seeds. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Just getting in from the garden, eh, mummy? Very good, very good. Nice. Had to do some work. Sending yeah. and sending out. And, you know, for anybody that do, want, wants to do or does, you know, has questions about gardening at night, don't worry about it. Do it. Hell Just, yeah. Uh, get yourself a colored light, you know, a red light or something, or maybe even a green one. But I know that red lights won't tell your plant to wake up kind of like a regular light does or one of these lights something like that yeah will tell your plant to wake up so a red light i know won't harm your plant you can work on it you can see you know really well and you can still work in the cooler part of the evening believe me yeah no. having having jim and and george over here right now is really cool because they're both about a foot and a half taller than i am and they can reach way up there on some of that plant, so <laughs> Doing work down below and having them do things up high, yeah, it works out pretty good. All right, we got we got a good amount of Girl Scout cooking on candy. Huh? This is our cross. Very good. We hope there's one in there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. I was I was really bummed when I when I came in after work and that plant was dying. Great is yeah. When it was dying, I mean it was going out all by itself. Yeah, when breeding new F1, uh, auto, most of the males mutated, but have the taste of the female. Hmm. Let's see, what's that? Oh, Logan has says, looking to get a Mars Hydro SP3000 for a tent. Two, two by four tent. Those are good. You know, as of right now, this, this grow light right here, this is the Mars Hydro SP3000. And it has the uh, light adjuster on it and everything. Easy to adjust. Yeah, instead uh, of the screwdriver and stuff and the little tiny. For the seedlings and everything, I just got it turned all the way down. It's not it's not too bright, but it is a very nice spectrum. And, uh, yeah, pretty much a dual yeah. spectrum, yeah. We, we do offer a 3% uh, discount code. Just use our code FAST, uh, F-A-S-T-T. When you uh, purchase, order, yeah. when you order, and you, you can get a three percent uh, discount. discount. Yeah. You know, it's not a lot, but it is something. Yeah. Yeah. that would give you a small discount on the on the light. <clears throat> Very worth it. At least a uh, hundred are females. <laughs> nice. The breeding. Wow. wow. One is a big task. Let's see. Two hundred seeds to go over ten years later. Was it worth it? What? Um, How many seeds? You got 10 seeds out of 200? No, no, no. I'm reading something wrong here. 200 seeds to go. Reading 10 F1. years. 10 years later. Was it worth it? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So, yeah, pollinating. And pollinating. And the getting a shitload of seeds. What well, really did, well, I mean, when we did the the cotton candy with the, the Jack Frost from the Illegal Grow that was out in the woods, you know, the Gorilla Grow. Um, that, that was, believe me, the, the nutrients that are in our gnome candy, that was just a stroke of luck. And can you, everything in it from the, you know, the Jack Frost and 
the cotton candy. Yeah, we had no clue. It was just a way we could clean out the the gnome candy or the cotton candy because it had been crossed with bubble gum and sour diesel and I don't know oh. something else I guess and and it just tasted like hay no matter what it, right off the plant it was tasting like hay so they were doing something wrong so we the, the seeds I got from the Gorilla Grow uh, we had enough that we were able to pollinate it like three different times over a year and a half or something like that even with the room so that was the quickest way best way we could clean out the, the cotton candy and just keeping it like that with the, the jack frost and the gnome candy has really yeah has really been nice. beneficial for my brother so, but like i said the the ingredients in it what's in it has just happened to be a stroke of luck that stuff like that really works well for my brother's plutonium poisoning so yeah oh Ten a year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Logan, you are welcome. <laughs> Thank you for joining. <coughs> if you guys haven't hit that thumbs up, swing on up, hit that thumbs up for us. Let us know you were here anyway. Sour blueberries is a indica you know, indica auto. Cool. Cool. I love a blueberry strain. Yeah. I want to get some blueberry strain. Let's see, I just ordered another Another thousand what? Another thousand gonna use two in these in a two by four. Oh nice. That'll be good in a four by four. Yeah. In a four by four tent. Uh, yeah. so I can move two of the six hundreds up and down to to half the tent. Yeah. Nice. Right. Three th three grow seasons because they are short indica autos. Might take a hundred and seven to be it might be 107 to 109 the next few days. Yeah. Oh my God! Down yeah. there in Santa Cruz, that in Vegas. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So even up here, you know, it just in the morning there's a breeze that blows, blows one way, and in the after or evening there's a breeze that blows the <laughs> other. But all the time when the sun is up, I mean, before seven o'clock at night, it's pretty, pretty stagnant. I mean, the more the air just doesn't move much. So my mommy likes my haircut. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Feels good too. As soon as he cut it all up, I was just like, ah, it was so hot. <laughs> we were <laughs> always sweet to take. Yeah, molasses or not. <laughs> <laughs> I told you the do like the blueberry. Yeah. Have you noticed, Nick? Have you noticed the difference in the flavors? Uh, of the, I don't know if you have any sugar-free blueberry or not. But if you if you do, try it. Try one with you know the molasses or sugar, and then try one without, and see what you notice. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, guys, it is about that time. Uh, we're going to get out of here and uh, hope everybody enjoys their weekend. Stay tuned. We have a giveaway coming up within the next week. Yep. We'll see what we can and do. Get it out there. That's right. We got some cool prizes for you all. We just want to say thank you. Thank you, everyone, um, for watching, we're using, and doing. We're well over. Uh, 6,100 subscribers. Holy man, uh, <laughs> still growing. We're a great community, and it's because of you guys. So, thank you, and we'll see you on our next video. That's right. Doing things in your garden is fun. <laughs> <laughs>